it's fascinating to, to trace this sort of journey of the development of the industry. And one, an industry, and I think, which Albertans should be proud of, in, in a sense, when you look back and you cast back and you say, well, here, here in the 1890s, there were a few people, 1880s, 1890s, who just discovered tar weeping out of the sides of the Athabasca River. And uh, today there's this huge, large, giant industrial complex in that same site. And it took that full almost 100 years to get to that scale. And, and the early years are intriguing because they're all about also turning what I would call nature into a resource. It, 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 it's a natural phenomena that explorers and travelers and bishops and hunters noticed, native people used, but it becomes slowly turned into a prize, a, a natural resource prize. And first by the, the, uh, the federal government geologists who come here and they start to survey it, and then by professional engineers and geologists who come out to sort of vertically assess it, not just horizontally assess it, to see what the capacity is. And then there's a whole era of scientific experimentation in which the state, the Alberta state and the government um, subsidize scientific investigation to try and separate. Now that we know there's something there, they want to separate the, the tar from the sand and to make it into an oil product. And, and then there's a series of kind of semi-heroic and semi-fatal fatalistic, I guess, experiments to create it at a commercial scale. And what fascinated me was that that whole journey about unlocking this resource from nature, making it available and useful for humans. And uh, by putting it in that perspective, you can see why people are so proud. People who work in the industry are just so proud of what happened, that by the by the late 60s, early 70s, as the industry starts to mature and become a viable industry, that people are very proud of the fact that they built a city on the edge of a, a, a wilderness.